this demonstration, we're going to look at the social and collaborative aspects of the Cordis Business Operations Platform. One of the new features of the Cordis Business Operations Platform in the latest version, version 4.1, allows us to do real-time collaborative modelling between a number of different people. What that means is we can model processes, screens, cases together in real time between a number of different people. If I'm modelling a process and I want to invite somebody to join me in modelling that process, I simply invite them and share a single URL with them, which allows them to join in in the modelling of my process. If I want to provide read-only access for people to view a process, for example, to approve it, then again, I can do that via a single URL. It really is very simple, as we'll see in the demonstration. In addition to modelling together, I have a Google Chat style interface which will allow me to chat to people while I'm modelling. In addition to this, a complete history of all of the changes that are created during the modelling process is recorded so that we can look at them later. So let's get into the actual demonstration. Here I am logged into the Cordis Business Operations Platform environment and what we can see here on the left hand side is a hierarchical view of my project and what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new process. Right click, create a new business process model and that will start up the process designer and allow me to start modeling my process. I'm going to create a simple order process so we have a start activity then we have an activity which for example is get order details and then maybe I have a decision as to whether this is a large order. And at this point, I can go on and complete the process, but maybe I want to get a colleague involved to help me with part of this process. So to do that, first of all, I'm going to just save the process and we will call it order process. And once saved, I can simply switch into what we call collaborative mode. Here we are in collaborative mode. As you can see, I'm logged in as Matt, and I want to simply invite another user to help me out with this process. So we're going to invite the user Chris, and you can see with also suggest I get Chris Hyde. We're going to invite Chris with the permission to modify this process. We could equally invite to review or just read. We're going to say modify. And here is the message I'm sending to Chris. Please join me in developing this model. When I hit share, what we'll see in the top right hand corner is a picture-in-picture uh, -picture view of Chris's desktop and what we'll see in a moment is Chris will receive an email from me and that email is inviting Chris to join in in building the process. So when Chris receives the email from me he can open it up as we're seeing in the top right hand corner of the screen and simply click on the link which will take him directly to the model and enable him to join in the development with me. Once the model loads up, you'll notice that Chris appears in the list um, of people who are now either viewing or able to edit this process. And I can enter a message and say, hi, Chris, are you able to help me with this model? And what you'll notice in the top right hand corner, if Chris is responding to me, then he's able to type back, yes, sure, Matt, what do you need? So as you can see, we can have an interactive conversation in a chat type interface. However, what I want uh, Chris to do for me is to do the large orders part of this process while I take care of the small uh, order part of the process. So please do the large order side of the process and then of course Chris is going to respond uh, of course Matt. <coughs> now what I'm going to do is carry on drawing this process and what we'll see is I can now add another activity which is ship order but simultaneously while I'm doing that what we'll notice is Chris can develop the process on his screen and you will see the changes that he is making appear not only on his screen but also on my screen. True collaborative development.
I'll continue with the process from my end and say this is the end of the end of the process and simultaneously we can see that Chris is actually finishing the process. Once this, the process is complete, I can say, thanks Chris. And then I simply right click on the process and I can choose to come out of the whiteboard view and I can turn off collaboration and then simply deploy the process or save the process as I would any other process within the Cordis platform.